I've had this Logitech K750 for a few years and about maybe starting six months ago it would be unresponsive like you'd hit a key and it wouldn't do anything and I used to be able to fix that by just moving out of the way so I could get the proper lighting because it's a solar power keyboard but then that stopped working and then the battery stopped charging there's a rechargeable coin cell battery in this keyboard and the warranty has expired on this keyboard so Logitech was no help and in fact on the website it does say that the battery is not replaceable but that's not true today I'm going to replace the battery and I'm going to show you how to replace the battery and I will also show you how it works after it's been charged for a while first this is the light meter button and as you can see that light is flashing green which means it's getting enough light to charge the new battery once I put it in here is the new battery in the box uh, the battery is actually in a bag so I'll just quickly pull that out and here is the new battery as you can see and the new battery is a Maxell ML2032 it's a rechargeable battery you don't want to put a non rechargeable battery into the keyboard it could cause a fire and it will cause the keyboard to heat up a lot because it will try to charge it I have seen tutorials where somebody disassembled the keyboard and then cut the connections to the solar panels so that they could put a non rechargeable battery in there but I didn't want to mangle the keyboard to do that so now I will quickly slip the old battery out of the keyboard and then put in the new one now I will try to take the battery out I've done it before it's pretty difficult but if you get the right tool there's a slot right here and you just have to pry it out there will be a little damage to the keyboard but you just pry it in there and there you go it's out the battery fell on the floor and there's the old battery as you can see on the original battery it says do not replace battery and it tells you go to Logitech support but that's pretty useless because they are unwilling to help you even if you would be willing to pay for them to replace the battery they will not do it so I will just quickly peel off that sticker as you can see I just peeled off the sticker there's still some of the adhesive left and it is a Maxell ML2032 and it says rechargeable on there and also made in Japan now that's the old battery and there's the old battery and the new battery and you can see they're identical so it should work the old one has a black stamp number on there of 20 I believe and the new one has 99 so that's how you'll be able to tell the difference plus the leftover adhesive from the sticker so now I will put in the new battery and then make a short video later after this keyboard has had a chance to charge the new battery and tell you what the results are showing you the Logitech solar app and also proving that the keyboard now works properly now I will put the battery back into the keyboard this is the new battery as you can see there's no sticker adhesive on it and then you want to put the worded side of the battery down so it goes into the holder like that so the bottom is facing up and then you just slide it into the keyboard and there you go now I'll just quickly turn it back on as you can see by that green light that just flashed it is getting enough light and the battery is incorrectly so we'll push this light button here as you can see there's a little green light flashing beside my thumb that means the keyboard is receiving enough light through these solar panels on the top and the battery should be fully charged within a few hours or so it may have a charge in it already since it's a new battery but I'm unsure if these coin cell batteries come pre-charged like 
triple A's or double A's, but I'll be back in a while to show you how the keyboard works after replacing the battery. So the new battery did come pre-charged. I'm actually surprised. And I'll press the solar app button on the keyboard where the green light was next to earlier in the video. As you can see, it has a 100% battery and it says your energy reserve is high. And that's the normal reading once the battery is fully charged. As you can see by the lux meter, I'm in a low light area, but I normally do try to put the keyboard under some direct light where it gets a higher reading of uh, 500 lumens uh, for at least a few hours a day to keep the battery going. Now the original battery probably did die because of the fact of it was being so old, like I've had the keyboard for at least two and a half years I think. I could be wrong. And uh, so that's probably why the battery stopped charging because eventually rechargeable batteries do stop recharging. So as you can see the solar app says the battery is full. Now I'll just quickly open a notepad and I'll press the Windows key on the keyboard and then just click on notepad and I'll just increase the font size and now the keyboard works like it should the keys responded immediately it does feel funny to go back to the Logitech K750 I was using a Lenovo uh, keyboard for a while and it did not have these chiclet keys like the ones that make the little tapping sound not the fat keys that most keyboards have or some older keyboards have but as you can see it works and I'll press the Windows key again and there you go see that works in the backspace everything works perfectly so instead of going to spend another 80 to 90 dollars on a new Logitech wireless solar power keyboard, I spent 15 dollars plus 13 percent tax on this keyboard by just buying a new rechargeable battery for it. So when Logitech says the battery is not replaceable, they are not telling you the truth. It can be replaced. Subscribe or visit my YouTube channel.